it's been an exciting seven days since our beautiful Beverly gave birth and I've been getting I've been catching everything right from day one so today we're gonna review what happened luckily for Beverly she waited for me to come back from work and then she delivered so I caught everything on camera also making sure that I'm not disturbing her so we're looking at the day one um, from when Beverly gave birth and yes she trusted me she's not too stressed because she knew it was me but still she came to check this was like some few minutes so 24 hours later we're looking at 24 hours later day which i call day two and you can see already the fair start coming they are really growing very fast and the development is a bit slow but there we go and each day is a new journey for these little kids we're looking at day three now and look at them they are chill making some squeaking noise and popping like popcorns then we go to day four and you see them in their calmest even when they know notice the movement in their calm that tells you they are belly full when the belly is full there's no need for them to pop um, all they do is to try to dig down and find the most comfortable place to sleep and that's what they do that's their job eat sleep they don't know about fun because their eyes is not open their ears are not hearing and they, they literally only have a sense when they feel any vibration and movement and the only thing they think is mommy is here to feed us and um, you know I never had any problem with suspecting that Beverly is not feeding them well because at the end of the day Beverly is probably the most happiest bunny mommy in the world she's spoiled to bits and as I'm filming this, you can see her there enjoying and foraging for herself. She's picking what she wants to eat. So back to day five. And um, I mustered the courage to start picking them and checking them properly. Because, you know, as um, when they are in domestic situation, we, uh, we tend to worry. But you need to trust the rabbit and the dog to look after them and you saw that stomach popping that's a sign of being well fed and look at that cheeky one sleeping <laughs> sleeping um, this is comfort they are comfortable and yes they start popping as soon as they feel any kind of movement they think mommy is here and even if their belly is full why not have some more milk and that's what they think that's what the kids think so we're looking at day six here and I mustered the courage I was able to pick one up fully and check him and um, yeah they very warm and that tells you the insulation inside plays a big role if you're in Europe and where it's cold it's a cold weather then you know that you need to put proper insulation for them and look at this color I think that is an agouti similar to daddy we'll find out it seems to be the smallest one among them but that doesn't necessarily mean it's not going to make it day six and they are all here together all of them are kicking and i think the most vulnerable week for them is the first week because they can't see they can't hear anything so if they are not fast enough to go when you know mommy is around then they are left out and if they don't get fed then obviously they die but yes i managed to catch this moment boy mommy has just finished feeding them and i thought i've always thought when mommy finished feeding them mommy covers them but in a domestic situation mommy fed them and she's gone but look at how they manage to dig their way down 
thereby covering themselves. You know, everybody is looking for the most comfortable place, and by so doing, they are digging, man. They, they are digging. They don't stop digging. They keep digging. And uh, I just stayed there to watch. Every now and then, mommy come and check on it. You still here? And I'm like, yes, mom, I'm here. And then she pretends she's eating. She's comfortable with me, but, you know, motherly instinct, she still want to make sure that um, the kids are okay. And there she is. She's so happy. She's, you know, you can tell she's happy. She just chills. She's got confidence in me. She knows me that I don't mean any bad for her. And every now and then she still comes and peep. Are you still there? Huh? My baby's alone. But I witness it and as we are watching together, you see how they are digging their way down. You know, and, and for them, they are digging their way down. All I'm picturing is in the wild, mommy will cover them with the sand as I've seen in other videos. Mommy will cover them as best as she can to hide them from predators. But for them, they will dig down to get the most comfortable place to sleep and until mommy comes again or they feel any shake because they can't see, they can't hear. So what have they got to lose? Nothing. Sleep. Sleep till they are happy to get up. And as we are watching together, I didn't cover them, mommy didn't cover them. They manage to, you know, wriggle their way all the way down to the bottom where they are all comfortable and probably they will sleep because remember, mommy will feed them maximum twice in a day. And because rabbit's milk is so nutritious, now I'm not giving you any idea to start sucking rabbit milk but it's highly nutritious so she feeds them twice and remember in the wild all the, their mind frame is feed them quickly cover them get out there before any predator notice what's going on because when they do their babies will be dead so mother's instinct is to protect babies at all times and now she come to check me again. Yeah, that's all right, go, bye-bye. There we go, day seven. And I let mommy go so she's not worried. And I went straight to check on them. Um, as you can see, the nesting box is attached. It's massive, it's big. It's what some people will use as their um, rabbit hatch. But I made it big and special for her to feel super comfortable and pick her, her corner where she wants to give birth. That's and it worked very well. It's well insulated. What you can see there has got insulation all around it. So I came and they are all hidden like they are not there. What you can see, it looks like they are not there. And I can only see small movement. So they've already camouflaged themselves. I'm assuming mommy has fed them and there is not a lot of movement so I, that's what i assumed i could be wrong but i think mommy has fed them so i came to start disturbing their sleep and they are resting so i'm digging down slowly digging down slowly and checking and look at beverly just eating everything in the garden this girl she's devouring literally everything in the so, so as you can see I'm digging I don't want to disturb them but I still want to bring you this video so I am um, slowly and then two of them decide to come out and attack me like what do you want I think they are on their security duty so they just popping up there and then they're like okay can't touch us and then they wiggle back and then uh, they wriggle back and I sort of got, went to get them and Beverly came again to ask me, what do you want? Just leave my babies alone, leave them alone. And then she went, she's comfortable with me. She's very, very comfortable with me. Um, 
I played with her a lot before she had a baby and even that she knows who who cares for her and you can see from this bunny here almost fully um, furred and her belly is popping out and I attempted to try to count them there because I'm eager you know every day that I go I try to see if we've got any sort of fatality because you don't want to leave them inside there if they, they die because they do die when they are not fully formed these things happen so every day I go I try to dig my hand down and find out if um, there is any casualty um, but up to day seven there all of them are kicking so well and I try to count them but they wriggle their way straight back into um, straight back into the bunch the, 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 the group of them because remember they are keeping warm and it's not fully blown cold but we're talking about temperatures around 13 14 15 look at Beverly look the landlady there chilling um, outside she's, she's so so cheeky that woman you know so yeah i managed to get all of them um get to all of them and i sort of try not to disturb them but dig my hand round the corners to see if there is anything and yes this is the big question what do you have to do for mommy all you have to do for mommy is feed her properly make her happy Beverly loves to roam around that's what I've taught her and that's what I've given her so she knows she can roam around the farm but give her good nutrition nutritional food they have probably one of the best pellets in the UK which is uh, science selective I think that is the best one if you know of a better one please let me know but I've introduced them to the science selective and they are eating it and every day they have an abundance of hay and every other day I give them kale um, some greens I've got dandelions around I've got some green um, grasses around so I make sure they get a good mixture of both you have to give them the best nutrition in order for you to uh, know so thank you for watching and i'm gonna give you another video very soon of when i wear them that will be day eight so watch out for that rabito famino what are you waiting for subscribe if you like it